Bye. Hello. Like my shoes? Hey, Joe. Bug ready. Oh my god. God bless America. Toa! <laughs> one for me, one for the cameraman. <laughs> What is up, Pug Nation? Today, we are going to talk about the future of the 74s and how I think the uh, top four right now are gonna place in all of 2020, including myself, while eating banchan. So keep in mind, I'm gonna have my phone on me so I can see the uh, placements of the athletes right now and their current totals and where I think they're gonna place within all of 2020 and their totals at the end of 2020. So, currently placed in number one is Taylor Atwood. Oh, I get all my clothes from out-of-the-way toddler stores. Ooh, uh, you want an animal cracker? And I think coming up, he's going to place number four at the end of 2020. His best lifts currently is a 790.5 kg total, a 283 squat, a 195 bench, and a 302.5 deadlift. Now, the reason why I don't think he's going to retain his number one spot is for a number of reasons. One, he does have an injury and it seems like it's affecting his lifts significantly. Two, I don't think he hits depth on his squat. Three, every time he benches, his glutes come off the bench, not to mention that he is benching on a rogue fat pad, which is arguably easier than any other competition bench. And lastly is his deadlift. I think that Taylor has a soft lockout. Now, bear in mind, none of these are going to be jabs at any of these athletes. It's just my input and my analysis of their lifting. But when it comes to Taylor's second deadlift at Raw Nationals, I don't think it should have counted uh, because of soft lockout. So for Taylor, I'm going to predict that he totals around 770 to 780 kg by the end of 2020 under the assumption that he recovers by that time. Mmm. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a little spicy. Alright. Currently placed in number two right now is Austin Perkins. <laughs> I think he's going to either place third or second. Um, second, I'll obviously mention, but right now I'll place him at number three. Let's go and see how he's placed so far. This is his equipped. Damn, gross. Mm, okay. So Austin Perkins has a 285 kg squat, 167.5 bench, and a 305 deadlift, which he accomplished for a total of 757.5 at Raw Nationals. Now, Austin is very young, and I can see him really climbing up the ranks, although, just based on his recent training performance, um, the things I've been seeing on Instagram, he's hitting depth, there's no issue there, his bench is fine, uh, pauses might be a touch short, but he's improving drastically on those. The thing is, I don't think he's necessarily improving as fast as Mike or I at the moment, um, outside of squat, his squat, I can imagine him being the first to squat 300 kg. But um, when it comes to deadlift, it seems like at the very best it's stalled. And I'm really excited to see how he does uh, within the next few months. Um, I believe he is competing equipped in one month and uh, hopefully he, he competes raw in, um, in Belarus for IPF Worlds. Now, 
My guess is that he will probably total around 780 to 790 kg by the end of 2020, um, which will place him at number three. Next up is Michael C. And I believe he is gonna place or be ranked number be ranked number two by the end of 2020. His current total is 732.5 with the 267.5 squat, a 187.5 bench, and a 277.5 deadlift. Now let's explain why I think he's gonna be number two and why I don't think that he's going to be the first one to total 800 kg. If you aren't eating your wings all the way to the bone, How dare you? These chickens died for us. Now, I predict that Michael will, by the time uh, that 2020 is over, have an 800 kg total, or at least I hope he does. Um, he's clearly very strong, also very young. Um, not as young as Austin, but I think he's 23. And his next meet is, uh, by the time this video comes out, will be tomorrow, which is at the Arnold. Now, my predictions for Michael, I don't think he hits death on his squat, right? Just like Taylor, his bench is fine, although he doesn't necessarily have that much of a peaking for his bench. Uh, usually what he hits in training is around what he hits in competition. And for his deadlift, it has been improving tremendously, but I don't see everything tying together for a nine out of nine meet and an 800 kg total. Now let's go and talk about his deadlift. I did say before that's been improving tremendously but um, I don't necessarily see him hitting around a 700 pound or a 318 kg deadlift for an 800 kg total. He will probably deadlift around 670 pounds if his grip holds up. Because in his most recent videos, it seems like he's been having a little bit of issue there. Um, his squat has been looking high but fast, so we'll see. These judges are gonna be nationally ranked judges. I'm pretty sure the Arnold has slightly higher standards than well, at the very least, the same standards as raw national judges. So it's going to be very difficult to kind of uh, get a lucky one from them. So my prediction for Michael C is that he is going to total around 780 to 799.9, uh, leaving that 800 kg total for the person that deserves it, me. <clears throat> anyway, my next meet is in May. I think I'm going to hit it because one, I have the best form out of all these guys. Just, this is an analysis. My squat looks better. My bench is, my deadlift looks better. I'm not sure where I'm gonna hit exactly, but I do see a lot of PRs coming up. When I was in Raw Nationals, I had an injured hip. And if anything, uh, my squat uh, regressed a lot. If uh, I hit, I think 5 kg under what I hit at Worlds in Sweden six months prior. Um, and I have been hitting around the same numbers for a year when it comes to the squat. Whereas now, I'm hitting uh, PRs on PRs. I recently just hit a 628 pound squat, uh, which is about 28 pounds more than my PR in the gym, and roughly 40 pounds above what I hit at Raw Nationals. So we will see, but um, yeah, that's it enjoy me eating this food because I have not been enjoying that much because I've been talking but I enjoy it now you guys can watch me mm. this one's juicy mm. Mm. that one's for you Taylor Perkins, see? Mm. That's all for today, Pug Nation. If you like the video, you like me analyzing 
uh, and predicting the future of any weight class or anything related to powerlifting, leave a like, subscribe, donate some money to my Venmo, and I'll see you guys next time. Hmm. <laughs>